Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about an important topic which comes pretty much during the rounds is should you give normal CD that's 0.9% CD to your patient with SIADH. Normal saline has 154 milliequivalents of sodium and 154 milliequivalents of chloride that gives a osmolality of 308 milliosmoles per liter. If you want to know there is 9 grams of sodium in 1 liter of saline which is quite a lot when you consider that you are giving this to your heart failure patient or your elderly. So use your normal saline only when you require it. So let's ask the first question how much sodium will rise when you give 1 liter bolus of saline so let's go back to our calculations we had this 70 kg man with total body water of 42 kg his icf is 25 liters his ecf is 17 liters and his sodium is 110 so your initial body osmolarity is 220 and your total body solute is 220 multiplied by 42 that's total body water that gives you 9240 If you give 1 liter of saline you are adding 300 milli osmoles of sodium chloride and 1 liter of water. So new total body solute is now 9548 and new total body water is 43 and if you divide these two you get 222 milli osmoles per liter. So your new plasma sodium is now 111. So when you give 1 liter of bolus of normal saline in a 70 kg person your sodium will increase only from 110 to 111. so at least you know that by itself a liter of sodium chloride does not changes your sodium by a lot let's see what happens if its sodium was 140 to begin with so doing the similar calculation you get your sodium level to be 140.3 increase in a normal person is not significant when you give them a liter of saline however you have to notice that this is a snapshot in time in a closed system and you are not really looking at if the patient is making urine how much is he eating or drinking or incipient losses so let's put all of them together let's assume that this patient got 1 liter of saline in 24 hours and he peed out 1 liter of urine and had 300 cc incipient losses his urine osmolality is 500 because he has siadh his total body solute is 9240 you add 308 from the normal saline and you subtract 500 from the loss in the urine and the new total body water is 42 plus 1 liter from the normal saline and minus 1.3 from loss in urine and incipient losses his sodium is now 108.5 so giving a liter of saline to acid age patient it has actually dropped your sodium levels if you give him more saline for example 2 liters of normal saline and he pees out 2 liters of urine his sodium will drop down to 106 let's look at it a little differently to figure out what's going on in a bag of normal saline you got 300 milli osmoles of solute in 1 liter of water in urine the patient has 500 milli osmoles of solute in 1 liter of water so his kidney can pee out 500 milli osmoles in 1 liter of water so to pee out 300 milli osmoles which he received in normal saline He only needs 616 cc. So out of 1 liter, 616 cc is excreted in urine and 384 cc remain inside. And this is free water, so it will dilute your sodium further and it will cause hyponatremia. So what you're really looking at is the ratio of solute to water ratio in your input and output. This is going to govern whether sodium improves or worsens. Let's lower the urine osmolality a bit. Let's say if your urine osmolality is 200 milli osmoles, this patient has mild SIADH. In this patient, his kidneys can pee out 200 milli osmoles in one liter of water, and since you gave him one liter, 200 will be peed out, and 108 milli osmoles will remain inside. So this 108 milli osmoles will increase your sodium. can you give your sad patient normal saline the answer is no if your urine osmolality is higher than 308 you will get into trouble but if your urine osmolality is lower than 308 you might get away with it as a rule if you give somebody iv fluids with lower osmolality than urine your sodium is going to drop can you give your patient 3% saline 
The answer is yes, because 3% saline has osmolality of 1027, and in SIADH, urine osmolality is almost always lower than this. This is an SIADH patient with 500 milliosmoles per liter of urine osmolality. So his kidneys can pee out 500 milliosmoles in 1 liter of water. So out of 1027, 527 milliosmoles will remain inside and it will help increase your sodium. So in summary, do not give normal saline to your SIADH patient. You can be lucky if your urine osmolality is less than 300 milliosmoles but most of the time you will worsen the hyponatremia. Normal saline by itself will cause one or less than one rise in sodium levels depending on your total body water and your initial sodium levels. And if you give somebody IV fluid with lower osmolality than urine, your sodium will drop. Make sure you look at the osmolality of the IV fluid you are giving and urine osmolality when you are dealing with patients with hypo or hypernatremia where you want to change the sodium levels. Thank you.